We are on our journey to the mid zone, it's called. And uh, this area, unfortunately, has shocking speed, which actually might be good because the engine that we unlocked, we are unable to build until we have those uh, red components that we're looking for. Now, let's just take a quick look at our map and see what we might want to do here. Um, I mean, our exit is way up here, and that's what we want, ultimately. We don't want to warp out of here, but there's some nice um, anchors down here that I think we should go and grab. So maybe our plan is to go something like this, come through here, check out kind of some of these bundles of houses and stuff, come down here, check out this bundle, grab the anchors, up through this way, grab this, and then head out. I actually like that plan. Let's execute the plan. Let's go. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I've been recording these, like, I've just been obsessed, man. I don't know what it is lately between this game and uh, Frostpunk on the channel recently. I've just been, like, uh, very fortunate in finding these games that I've personally just been very obsessed with. And it's a great feeling because, I mean, what else could I ask for? It's, it's a game that I look forward to sitting down and playing every day. And that's not always the case, but um, it's the case right now, and I'm stoked about that. Oh, I just used the extra scrap metal that I needed to actually build the impact hammer that I was looking to replace. All good. Okay, so it appears I thought we might just get these random bursts of speed, but no, we can actually sort of control it by hitting those. So I am going to need to break down some cars for sure, because I need some parts to build my my tools. The scrapper is going to be gone soon. Now we recently got something that can remove doors completely so that we can use them for our uh, vehicle. And that's why we have two, well we have an armored door and we have an armored panel in the front that I can show you in case you didn't see that. But still, the scrapper is going to be very beneficial because we do want to, like, break down a lot of materials. But we'll keep an eye out for things that are um, a little bit more advanced that we might want. And then we'll blast it off with this thing, the Liberator. All right, sweet. Now... Uh, we can take this, too. What I'd actually like to look for next time we are at the machine is to see if there's an, another version of the scrapper that just tells us... Like, if I could eventually get to a point where I, like, shoot something and it just sucks up all the materials, like, how cool would that be? It would be sick. Obviously. It would be sick. Uh, okay. So I'm already getting... Pretty full here. I do have a, a steel door here that, let's be honest, this is not gonna, this is not gonna make the cut. It just, it just isn't. Let's make a new uh, impact hammer here, and I think that's good. We've gone crude flashlight, basically skipping the relightable flare, uh, which I think is good for us, and the rest, we're fine. So check this puppy out. Look at the light. Oh, it's insane. We just had like a major leap in tech recently because. Uh, we got a ton of energy, so it's been great. We got two headlights that are legit. We got rid of our crude one. So we have two actual headlights, which does make a difference, in case you're wondering. I don't have my vacuum on me. No, nope. I have it in here. No, I don't. Do I have it in here? Yes, I do. Okay. And I did unlock the ability for us to make some of that as well. Uh, what I will do is we'll hold this. I'm going to actually store this over here because unless I find a part that I really need, I don't think that I will... need to have it on me all the time, you know? Gimme, gimme, gimme.
Right. We also unlocked these side floodlights, but I need another expansion rack for the car in order to put that on there. And those expansion racks aren't things that we can build. They are literally, uh, you have to unlock them one at a time at that research station. good in here. Let me go check this real quick. I guess let's put this on a slot. And with these things around, we'll have no shortage of, like, computer parts, bulbs. We're gonna be laughing. All right. Steel. We do have a slight inventory problem at the moment. Could be worse. We're probably due for, whoops, another upgrade in that regard. All right. Oh, you know what? If there's a chance What's the best way I could do this? Like, I guess I could have the flares, or maybe the flare gun. The flare gun's a decent option for this. I needed to drop those thermo saps. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Although that one may have been like a uh, shock tourist. I didn't quite catch it. Okay, so we'll check out these houses, or this little batch of buildings up here. Let's see if we get lucky finding anything cool. Uh, I'm gonna park even further away, because those guys explode in a pretty huge radius. Okay, wish me luck. See how far out those shocks go? Can really mess up your car. Yeet. Okay, nice. Okay, so these guys, they seem to only be dropping plasma, which doesn't help me. Oh, oh, that hurts me. That was, that was cool. So unfortunately, these guys, um, kind of useless. What was that glittering boulder that we saw? I swear it said glittering boulder. Let's clear these. It looks like this thing has, uh, it's powered, so. We can get some more plasma, which, again, I don't hate the plasma either, because that's really good for all of our uh, personal upgrades. It's just not something that I'm 
necessarily fiending on because our personal upgrades aren't blocked by that currently. It's blocked by materials that we haven't seen before, which are likely going to be in the new area. All right, so now I have an extra pry bar. I think it's in one of my boxes. You guys, seriously? They just multiply. Okay, new impact hammer. I mean, old impact hammer. Until it explodes. I'll take the food, absolutely. Uh, do we have a back room here? What is this? That's weird, right? Huh. Hey, what's this? Resource. Lead shielding. Whoa, we needed to, we needed to, uh, has this been at these things the whole time? Because we need to scan lead shielding to unlock, um, like, stronger doors. This is ridiculous. We've transformed from a team of skilled scientists into day trippers with test tubes and sample kits. Must set up everything on site. We haul out equipment, computers, materials. We have these dreadful mobile laboratory trucks that are so generic in design, they end up helping nobody do their work. The latest fieldwork solution is apparently to have us erect giant walls of lead behind which we are supposed to perform direct observation of the latest anomalies. Must rush out in response to the latest sighting, build these things like we would a snow fort in winter, then hope to get enough readings and data before another EMP shorts everything. It's utterly ridiculous. We don't even have equipment capable of helping us move and deploy all this other equipment. And of course, setup takes so long that whatever we hope to catch is often long gone that, or it has taken far too much of an interest in us for anyone to be able to work safely. Oh, wow. Okay. So, lead shielding. I'm, I'm curious. Well, okay, hold on. Let's see if there's more. There definitely is. Okay. So, holy, there's, there's actually, there's actually tons of it. Now, I'm curious to see. Like, it's not a panel or anything. You know what I'm saying? So, I doubt that this will work the way that I'm going to experiment it to, but... No. Okay. You never know. You never, you never know. That was a bit of a stretch, though. Okay, I think we can store that, and I have a ton of healing. Alright, let's break this down. I'm surprised with the times that we've approached these. We've never seen the lead shielding pop up before, but... Have we messed around too long? Perhaps. Perhaps we have. But it's okay because we're getting new stuff. We're getting lead. Lead platelets. Alright. I'm going to just clear this. Little hut, and then we're out. Whoa, that's... That's not supernatural or anything. Okay. 
See a big dance. Now this might be a little bit aggressive of us, but it, it looks to be moving in kind of slow, so I am going to see if I can get out there. We won't be able to check out as many places. Oh, God. Oh, no, dudes. Oh, my God. Wow. That got out of control. I need you off my vehicle, please. That was rough, not gonna lie. get there in no time. Oh god, that's a spin. We have plenty of time. My battery did get sucked pretty hard by those bunnies, though. And our car has seen significantly better days. Okay, I'm gonna kinda just aim us back towards the road. And I'm gonna grab my little battery jumpers. There's one. So I guess the reason we might wanna get the, the uh, anchor scanner that I was talking about last episode is that when you get out of your car, depending on how much time you're spending out of your car, it might be beneficial to have that so you can just quickly find these anchors. If I'm looking at this, the other one's back here somewhere as well. Although that could be the way that the car is facing, so hold on. So it's over to my left. Seems actually super close. Oh, there it is. Stay out of the sizzle. What's this anomaly? Hot dust, that's new. At present, the majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorized as beta particles or gamma rays, behaving almost exactly as we would expect. Nevertheless, further study will still be required to explain the origin and highly variable intensity of this radiation, which is unlikely, unlike anything previously documented. One particular kind of radiation frequently manifests as highly localized phenomena with no apparent source or focus, and often displays changes or modes and modes of behavior more consistent with cloud patterns. 
These radiation microclimates are increasingly common and vary in intensity from relatively weak to extremely concentrated. We've tried to discourage the use of the phrase, but local contractors have already taken to using the phrase hot dust to describe this unusual anomaly. While further studies obviously warranted, the extremely unpredictable activity and spontaneous appearance of this radiation has made examination extremely difficult. Fair. Coming. Oh boy. Why? What just caused that? Did something jump out of my car? Oh my god, dudes. Oh my god. Oh, it's up there. Oh no! Oh my god. Dude, get. That took, that wreaked havoc on my vehicle. Oh my. <laughs> okay, well, this will be interesting. Uh, let's go right here. And then we'll go around. This needs to be clean, and also that next area, I'm um, praying it has a repair station. Oh, oh that was close. Can I hit this safely? Nah. It's got to be pretty much in the road right now. This will do, I think. No! Oh, God. It's so dangerous. Oh, wow. We're in trouble. Okay, we are in big, big trouble. Hold on. Simmer down. I have time here. I have time. I don't need to. I don't need to totally panic, but like a medium amount of panic is probably reasonable. Now this uh, armored panel stuff takes a little bit longer to heal. One like s spattering of the putty doesn't quite get it done. Okay, it did get that one done. Also, do you like my new color scheme? I got some, I got brown panels, brown back door, and uh, matcha green doors. I think it's, I think it's a vibe. Certainly something. Okay, that's gonna be good. Let me whip up a couple of ceiling kits as well. Oh, did that just... Okay, yeah, good. I have to fully launch it in there. It's electrified. Nothing I can do there. Um, did I not see another door? Yeah, this one. Okay, sweet. Store it. Store it. Let's motor. Yeah, that was- that was necessary. I actually think we have time to take that other, uh... The other anchor. Whoa. Oh, no. That's our first flip. It's our first flip.
Guys, I swear, I'm I'm pretty good at driving, okay? <laughs> like, I swear. It's been it's been solid. But these speed bursts, they're unpredictable. Now the option is, well, just don't hit him. Okay. But that's not fun. Let's be honest. We also learned that if you uh, grab different types of energy, it does actually stack in there. We brought home some unstable mixed with our stable. And it was sweet. Oh, you know what? I'm going to shoot this, but I feel like it's going to zap the car anyway. No, it might miss. Nice. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think I have a bunny on me. Guys, 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 guys. Lock it. Turn it off. No. What the hell? Maybe I, maybe I clipped like one of the uh, energy balls. Okay, there's our U-turn. Not gonna hit that. We need to go right, and then we just follow that road to the exit. We actually have quite a few resources stocked up at base too. So um, we can be a little bit more selective about what we want to break down and stuff due to our uh, earlier hoarding. We're in a pretty good spot. It would be nice if we could build a sort of teleporter device that would send materials back to base to free up slots. But then, then it's like, what's the point of having all the slots, right? Okay, finally. Perpetual stability here. Yeah, this is what we want. Oh, I'm still here. Oh my god, I still have to go through this zone? Are you crazy? I do. I have to go through this zone still. Eerie darkness, shocking speed, and swift storm. Okay. This is a no messing around zone unless there's some very convenient anchors. Okay. Well. They're they're pretty convenient, actually. I might be able to snag both, but I might only need that big one, too. Uh, let me see if there's a repair unit in here. There's a charging station that I should probably try to hit. And actually, before we have problems here, when things go bananas, let's fuel up. I'm going to repair putty that front bumper couple of pieces.
It's looking a little rough. This limb pulse emitter is supposed to stop things like the uh, abductors from being able to grab you. Now, of course, we haven't seen any abductors yet. It's just been all these shock tourists. So at that marker, I want to take a hard right, if I can make it there, safely. And then we'll keep our eye out for regular tourists. Which I guess... In certain sections, when we're doing our route planning, we can maybe see. No. Oh, God. Now, what is this one? Is this a healing one? <gasps> yes! I'm pretty sure this is healing. That's right, soldier. Give him the boot. The army hasn't issued you the hard-wearing weatherproof boots for nothing. Your footwear is also anomaly-proof. So get right in there and greet those hangers on with a good, firm kick. That's it, son. That's how it's done. See how Harry here takes a moment, makes sure he has some leverage, and squarely aims the heel of his boot right at the center of the anomaly. It's easy. One swift kick and the thing is loose. Remember, don't use your bare hands and don't touch the anomalies with any exposed skin. Always be sure to check all around your vehicle, particularly on the roof. And only continue your journey once you can be sure you've cleared off all the hangers on. See how Harry here does the full circuit? You won't believe where all the places these guys find to attach themselves. Good job, Harry. Give him the boot. And don't worry. They don't feel a thing. It's not like they're alive. Okay, it doesn't say that it heals. This one actually might be bad. This might be, uh... Yeah. I think this might be doing radiation damage. Yeah. But there is a healing one. We ran into that in, uh... In the demo. We are per Yeah, I was gonna say, we are not perpetually stable here. Okay, well. Okay, well. Simmer down. Find my way back to the road. No problem. It's all good. Of course, there's a big radiation zone. Okay, good. It's, it's actually not that big. Get the frick away from my car. If I get back and my car is getting radiated, I'm going to be pissed. Ooh, this is unstable. Hello. And it's kind of terrifying right now. I don't think any of my personal upgrades give me uh, radiation. Protection. Unfortunately. Okay, so now, at around here, I want to get out and grab the other one. I think my battery's about to die. Yep. Okay, I can't have that, clearly. Um... Where is... 
Why am I like crouched down here? There we go. Alright, we use the full plasma charger. We do have a higher battery drain because of those bumpers that we installed. Uh, upgrading our battery capacity would probably be decent. Ooh. We did look at that, but I don't think it was something I could do at the time. Okay, I do want to... Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. This is pretty heavy. Come on, get me out of here. I need to be out of this range. Definitely need to be healed. Wish me luck. Another unstable, very nice. That means I can't see dick on the way back. What? No! Oh. Okay, it's time to GTFO. Oh, you know what? I actually am gonna be a little resourceful here. Let's do that. We'll top up the car. Yeah, amazing. No! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, where's my damage at? I mean, it's not good. But we're almost out of here. There was a there was a charging station back there too, but it's all good. We're we're getting out of here. I need to go somewhere with perpetual stability. That's my nickname. Perpetual stability odd. There is still uh, like an anomaly here or something. And some type of vehicle that we have not recognized. But we have finally made it to the wall crossing area. So this is... This is big. This this is nice. Oh, look at that. That is very unique. What are these? Find a way into the wall. So these are our objectives. And I'm way up here. So, we've got fuel. We don't have repairs, unfortunately. But there's three anchors. Now, 
Our anchor, our anchor uh, energy is full at 6.1 K-limbs, which is amazing. I'm wondering if there's an upper limit to that. So I'm definitely going to be trying to take all of those. Man, I don't have chemicals. There's some parts of our car that are really bad, like this one. Just looking inside to see, but the map is blocking. This panel's pretty rough. This door is pretty rough. We'll get this thing topped up. Your side storage can get destroyed too. Okay, that's all I can do. That is all I can do. All right. Is there anything I need to pack here? I don't think so. What? Yikes. Okay, tell you what, um, I just realized I'm gonna have to save here and um, load because I have to leave, but I'll get all of our car and stuff repaired and then when we come back, we'll pick up from here. I don't know if the map will be different or not, but uh, I'll make sure that I build the same thing that I just did and put all the putty on and we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching, but uh, we finally reached the area and I'm excited to see how this is gonna go. Wish me luck.